Hey, I'm Mike Beckerello, and today we're going to take a look at applying a concept that John Schofield uses on a solo he takes on Miles Davis's album Decoy. Let's take a look. So first thing, in order to fully utilize this concept, we need to have a good understanding of our melodic minor scales. Now, we don't necessarily have to have a complete mastery of all the modes, an application from like minor, we just needed to physically be able to play the scale well in multiple spots on the guitar. And so just a brief introduction on what melodic minor is, if you're not sure, is it's now classically it has a tradition to it, but in jazz we use it differently than they do in classical music. In, in classical music they descend differently than they ascend, but in jazz we ascend and descend the same way. So it's uh, the root, second, flat third, So there's a couple ways of looking at how this scale works. Is One is you can just think it's a major scale with a third flatted. The rest of it's the same. You can think it's a Dorian scale with a major seventh. Or you can think it's a natural minor scale and the sixth and the seventh are raised. Um, any way you look at it is totally fine because you get the same result at the end. Now there's a ton of ways to use the melodic minor scale, but that's beyond the scope of what we're doing here today. And we'll maybe look at that in the future. For this particular line, John Schofield's playing over... It's, it's a very free kind of situation on this tune, but it seems to be kind of like an A-sus, A-minor kind of situation. And what he does is he plays the melodic minor scale up a tritone from where he's playing. So we're playing an A, and he goes up to E-flat, and he plays that melodic minor scale. And when we play that over an A chord, what we end up with is we have a flat five, a sharp five, a major six, a major seven, a flat nine or a flat two, flat three, and the regular four. So that way we can hear it over the A, the A bass note. You kind of hear how it. It's very tense. It's it's not it's not really functioning in any way. It's it's just purely being used to add tension to what we're playing. So we're purposely playing wrong notes. Now the line he plays, he starts on the on the fifth fret here on the C and goes up to the E flat, C D E flat, up to F, A flat, back to F, slides up to the F sharp. A flat, B flat, so uh, so far we have. And then right here, he actually goes back to A minor. And he, and he climbs up the flat three, fourth, and the fifth A minor scale. Then he does, he does this really cool kind of sliding idea where he goes down to the back to the C, plays G, slides to G flat. A to A flat, E flat, F, C sharp to C. One more time. Then we start that sliding part. So he so we start the line in that's purely E flat melodic minor. Then we go up to A minor. Then we slide back to E flat melodic minor. And then slide down to, to C, which gets us back in A minor. So that's the line. And it's really cool because he, <clears throat> the way he does it, he doesn't just stick with E flat for a while. He plays a little bit of E flat, comes back to A minor, and then goes back to E flat, and then back to A minor. So he's kind of sliding in and out of these two scales. And it creates a really cool thing that grabs the ear. It's when I first heard this line, I instantly had to figure out what is he doing. This is really cool. I, I need to, I need to be able to get this into my playing. So I'm gonna try to demonstrate a couple ways to do this. I'm just gonna play A minor, and when I'm playing A minor, I'm playing Dorian mostly, and I'm gonna go to E flat melodic minor. I'm gonna go between the two. I really 
hope you enjoyed that lesson. This is a really cool concept. And whenever you're playing over a one chord vamp or a tune where a chord is held for a long time, like Little Sunflower or Impressions or So What or something like that, a modal kind of situation, you can employ this and kind of get in and out of your harmony uh, in a really effective way that will grab the listener's attention, I think. So thanks for checking out the lesson. I'll see you next time.